Welcome back. Our final stop on the journey today is Harbortown Fudge, where owners John and Vicki Coughlin serve up some unforgettably delicious treats. Thanks, Catherine. I'm here with our newest members of Saver Elgin, Vicki and John Coughlin of Harbortown Fudge at Telegraph House in Port Stanley. So first off, how long have you folks been in business? I've uh, been self-employed for over 30 years, but we've only just opened the Harbortown Fudge uh, Good this December. Just uh, we've only been open for four or five months now. So, but we've owned the property since 2002 and ran it as a bed and breakfast and a restaurant before that. We still have the V&B here too. Great. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Telegraph House there, John? Oh, other than the fact that it's a beautiful heritage home, and and uh, Vicky is the the for force behind the decorating and the designing, and we tried to follow and bring it back to life to to what it was like when Manuel Payne owned it at one time. So, that's. I'm just really proud of it, and we just keep working on it, so um, I don't know much more. That's perfect, yeah. And are you both originally from Elgin? No, Middlesex County, we're both Londoners, yeah, and our uh, two other restaurants were in London, one downtown and one out in the highway, yeah. Okay, so what brought you to Elgin County? The building, the building. We have friends who have a home on the beach, and we were here one day and walking up Main Street, and it was for sale, and we thought, oh, my God. We should try and see if we can buy this. And it seemed like a month later we owned it. So <laughs> that's how it happened. Well, that was our luck for sure to have you guys see that building. No, it's definitely the location. I guess yeah. It's on the harbor. It's got a great location. And it was a beautiful uh, old building. We could tell it was in real rough shape when we looked at it first. But it was meant for a and b and, uh, and a candy shop for sure. It's, everybody loves to come in even uh, just to look at the house if it's not to buy fudge. Great, great. So um, what do you specialize in? Here at Harbortown Fudge, it's obviously the fudge, but John and I did go to California this winter and take a chocolate and confections course. So uh, we've been dabbling in chocolate and our own fillings and marshmallows and caramels and some chocolate fish and different things for Port Stanley. But uh, we're the, the driving force is still John's fudge. It's all made here. Great. So John, tell us a little bit about your fudge. What kinds do you have? What can well, people I, expect? I um. I, obviously, the the things that are selling is is the true the true blue maple, and uh, maple walnut and chocolate. But I just can't uh, stop myself from developing other lines like the cappuccino and perhaps a pineapple rum or a raspberry uh, cranberry mix or cho chocolate mint for sure, uh, chocolate peanut butter. Those are the kinds of things that we've been doing. So it's been kind of interesting playing with the different flavors. So. Great. Yeah. It's not fair to be standing here not eating the, ch the fudge, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, and what is he here for people to see and do when they stop by to visit? To stop by to visit and the fudge store, you mean? Yeah, the yeah, fudge the store, fudge the B&B. &B, yeah. Okay, well, for sure, we always have free samples, so there's always lots of... Um, uh, fudge samples to try and whatever we've got going in the kitchen that day if we're making caramels or marshmallows we um, definitely uh, do those for samples for our guests to try to taste and see what we're doing here um, we have some ideas for the future we'd like to do some chocolate tastings we're interested in bringing in some different chocolates from different countries of the world and and doing some little uh, different things maybe we still have our liquor license here so we're thinking about pairing some chocolate and wine uh, for the ladies that come to shop in Port Stanley Oh, fantastic. Now, do you have any special events or um, occasions coming up? Well, we've been trying to try to be as supportive as we can to uh, Port Stanley. And we've got, first of all, in May, we've got a yard sale coming up. Well, Mother's and, Mother's Day, Day, and Mother's Day is, our big, is a big um, yeah. chocolate day for us. We just finished with Easter, and we couldn't believe how busy we were. So I'm hoping that we can get enough stock done for Mother's Day. And then again, throughout the summer, um, we'll be f featuring the fudge at different different times for the different features you know we have can fest i think we have a tall ship coming in for the for the visit and we have in august we have um what's the festival we have another harbor fe fest. the harbor fest festival yeah so we'll be featuring our fudge perhaps maybe out on the on the the, the lot so with the tent a marquee oh. tent and things so we'll try and do something a little bit different maybe even a candy floss machine who knows so. <laughs> no oh now that is right up my alley perfect now um how can people find you online phone calls facebook twitter anything like that we're absolutely online we're through the telegraph house site uh, we do have our own facebook page and um, we're on the saver elgin site i hope we're to be linked soon because we're new members um, we do have a twitter account we're on the port stanley bia portstanley.net um, yeah lots of places 
Fantastic. Now, do you have any final comments that you'd like to add about Harbor Town Fudge and the Telegraph House? Uh, just that it's a new business. We're excited about it. We're growing it, and and it's like reinventing ourselves again. And we kind of like to do that, actually. So we we keep changing and developing and evolving, and and it really makes it challenging for us. So we're actually looking forward to the season. So. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much, Vicky and John. It's been a pleasure to be here. And Catherine, I'll be bringing back some chocolate fish for you. I promise. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Those fish look absolutely fantastic. We'll be right back on Eldon County Living. <laughs>